Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Vicki. Today I'm sharing a tabletop Christmas tree made from mini wooden crates. Let's get started. This mini tabletop tree is based on supplies I had on hand. Mini crates, wood dowels, a dry and aged branch, and a variety of paints and tools. I started by removing the stickers from the crates and the dowels. This plastic razor blade continues to be the perfect tool for this. I'm going for a rustic look, so I'm only sanding obvious rough areas. I gave the dowels a quick sanding as well, mainly to remove the sticker residue. I decided to use cut pieces of a branch for the base. I cut the branch into five inch pieces, which is the height of the crate laid on its side. For a little visual interest, I decided to torch the sections. Plus, torching is so much fun. I set the pieces on top of an overturned terracotta pot away from anything flammable for safety. After the pieces cooled, I knocked off the white ash so they'd be ready for a coat of glitter paint. Next, I stacked the crates and gave them a quick coating of bare chalk paint. I wanted a way to hang an ornament in each crate cubby, so I decided to use a light tacking staple. I made a quick template with a piece of paper so I could quickly mark the center placement of each staple. The light tacker staples have a raised center which will be perfect for attaching an ornament hook. Time to assemble! I'm using a Sherbonder cordless mini hot glue gun to attach the crates. It's quick and easy. I hot glued each row and then glued those rows together pyramid style, centering each on the previous layer. To give the crates more of an illusion of a tree, I decided to create a tree shape from wood dowels to overlay onto the crate tower. I'm using this little saw and miter box to cut the angle for the top of the tree. I hot glued those pieces together. Next, I laid the bottom dowel across the marked cut lines. This time, I clamped the dowel to a scrap piece of wood and used a metal straight edge to keep the cut straight. After hot gluing the cross piece in place, I used the same saw to cut off the excess. I did find that cutting up from the bottom worked better than cutting down. There were a few indentations and gaps in the dowels. So I filled those with a little bit of spackle. I decided I wanted to add a bit of sparkle to the wood logs. I'm using DecoArt Galaxy Glitter and Ice Comet. It goes on cloudy, but it dries clear. Once the spackle was dry on the tree triangle, I sprayed it with Rust-Oleum Imagine and Shimmer Emerald. It's my new favorite paint for giving things a bit of a shiny, shimmery glow. Once dry, I fitted the tree into place and hot glued it. I used three sets of mini battery powered lights. I had these springs salvaged from the base of a baby crib. I put them on a wood dowel, suspended in a vise, and spray painted them the same shimmery emerald color. Time to decorate with the crib spring hooks and ornaments. I had this mini tree top lighted star that was perfect for the top of the tree. The last thing was to add the wood pieces turn on the lights and enjoy. Thanks for joining us. And if you want to see more projects like this, just click right here.